Okay, let's see what happens if you stand in the middle of a couple dozen corgis and say, treat. <laughs> That's a bad trick. That's mean. That's mean. Hey, welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. I'm Molly Real, live at Rough Dog Park in at Johnson Springview Park in Rockland. What a place to be this morning. We are live with the Sacramento Corgi Back. It is the coolest club on four <laughs> tiny little legs. Uh, this is Katie and Amanda. They are the co-founders of the club. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's a club for corgi lovers, but tell us a little about it. Indeed. Um, so we've been around for about t almost 10 years, um, but it kind of on an unofficial just meetup basis. And then now we're turning into a nonprofit and we're taking all this love for corgis and we're giving it back to corgis that need help. Um, the Queen's Best Stumpy Dog Rescue in Southern California benefits from our efforts from doing uh, raffles and you know selling products and stuff we have like a whole thing online where we sell merchandise for our club and all the proceeds go back to them so we're, we're super proud of the fun that we get to have together um, as well as what we get to give back like it's great <laughs> and let me just tell you if it doesn't translate to you at home which I'm guessing it does it's just paradise state I mean oh, yeah. you just have to <laughs> smile look at all these faces Amanda what is it about a corgi it's the little legs and the long body and a great personality. And a butt. <laughs> and, and a butt. <laughs> it is. It's the hindquarters. Katie, this is morning television. The booty. It's floofiness. They're floofy. <laughs> and so you do a few events every month? We do almost four events okay. every month. That includes dog park meetups like this one, as well as we have our Corgs and Brews, which is where we meet up at breweries and wineries together. Um, and we also have wiggle walks where we get to go oh walk gosh. around in an area together, um, you know, see some sights and have um, some corgis are better on leash than they are off leash, so they get an opportunity to join in as well. We we try to be equal opportunists around yeah, here. Yeah. I love that. By the way, even if you don't have a corgi, you can join in the fun, yep. and you can follow on Instagram, which, if you can imagine, is just a bunch of corgi cuteness. So it's that <laughs> corgi pack. Hey, I do want to try something if you're all willing, because you know corgis are known for herding, right? Yes. <laughs> what happens if we put them down and we just start running? Is that going to be chaos? Oh no! Oh. <laughs> come on! Come on! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it! You got it! <laughs> All right. It's Corgi Chaos. I'm sorry. I'm causing a scene, aren't I? You want that. Okay, there we go. Hey, you guys, next time they're having a Corgi meetup, you can join in on the fun. Be sure to follow them on Instagram or head to their website to learn more. And check us out on May 11th for our Corgi Ball back at Drake's The Barn. It's going to be a big event. So we hope to see you guys there on May 11th and throughout the year. Yes. All right. Thank From you. Corgi Rough Ball. Dog Park to you. I happy, love the energy happy out there. Happy Corgi Day. They're so cute, so cute. Thanks, Molly.